want to get back to the headwaters, to the top of these watersheds. I think too often what's happened is we've started downstream too far. We started fixing those problems before we've addressed problems that are happening upstream. This is an area where in the headwaters, the streams are very small. They're not always recognized as resources, but they have the most intimate connection with the landscape and they're actually the most sensitive to, to disturbance and to pollution. It's very important to get to, to let people know and get people to understand that up in the headwaters, this is really where the battle for water quality and for, for healthy streams is won and lost. We, we've been involved with the Adopt a Stream project for six years now, and we're down in, in Larmer Park, which is probably about halfway down uh, in the watershed. And one of the, the serious issues that we face is stormwater management. Uh, and we realized fairly early on that the Penny Pack is severely impacted by stormwater. I came to understand that we're not working on just one small section of stream. To me, it's like a living, breathing mechanism or organism, and you can't look at particular sections of it without understanding the whole. We need to be strategic. We need to have a number of principles that govern how and when we do projects and where we do projects. But we also have to have a reasonable time frame for planning. We need to um, not turn it into, I guess, a science project. We need to really have, uh, we call it planning with implementation in mind. Um, we know uh, that these projects work. We know that stormwater best management practices work. We know that we need to be working in the headwaters. We know that concentrating projects near one another is important. We know that working with large landowners is important. So our planning really is an outgrowth of maybe five basic principles. So we selected this little headwater watershed that we're standing in right now as our first sort of project headwaters watershed site. And what we're trying to do is just select a number of projects in this little sort of confined region, it's about six square miles, and we want to implement between 20 and 30 stormwater projects over the next five years. And our goal is to really have a measurable and tangible impact on water quality. Pennypack Creek has been listed by the DEP as being impaired. And our goal now is to have the closest section to the area that we're working in delisted within five years. The other side of that coin is we may find out that we can't save the headwaters. And if that's the case, then I think there's also an important lesson there too, in that they then become that much more important that once they're developed and once they're destroyed, if you will, then we're in a situation where we can't bring them back. In the last seven, eight years, we've seen high water events that exceed anything we had seen in, in the previous 50 years. And, and it's really development and, and impervious surface up in the headwaters that are causing a lot of the problems. I think that the municipalities are coming to a, a, a better realization that this is an issue and something that has to be managed. If you are a headwater municipality, chances are uh, you may not be feeling the uh, ill effects of stormwater like some of the downstream municipalities in terms of flooding and water quality problems, but you really hold the key to solving a lot of those stormwater problems. So I would encourage start to work and plan across your municipal borders and, and enter into multi-municipal planning agreements where you can actually work with your downstream neighbors to collectively plan for stormwater and do what makes sense for the entire watershed. And so the, getting municipalities into this partnership and, and having them as, as active cooperators is, is critical. This one. All right, you're going to talk me through What it really boils down to is how do you view the land, how do you view these streams? We were out on Valley Creek and there was a development out there of apartments and what they had done is they had left a 200 foot buffer, riparian buffer, on either side of Valley Creek and they put in walking trails and gazebos and benches and whatnot. And the days that we were out there, people were utilizing it, biking, walking, sitting, having a good time. And my suspicion is that the property values there are actually increased because they've treated the creek as a, a feature not as a, you know, a, a, an open sewer that's running through the property. I think we're on that cusp. We're really starting to see that watershed moment, you know, in which we're, we're transitioning. We're seeing projects that are designed in a much different way. I think, I think it parallels the whole country's kind of 
uh, and, and really worldwide concern for doing things in more sustainable fashion. But locally, a lot of it has been driven by the NPDS, the Phase Two regulations, and the stormwater uh, BMP manual, and the stormwater regulations that have come into place in the last couple of years. So, development of 2007 or 2010 is going to look very different with respect to stormwater than a project that may have been um, installed in, in 1995 or 1990s. I think the key is you've, at some point you've got to make that decision. Am I just going to sit back or am I going to get involved? People look at a situation like this and you know it's 56 square miles of, of watershed and they say you know where do we begin? And, and where you begin is you throw that first rock, you know you, you put that first log in. And I mean I tell people I'm just a trout guy. I mean, you know, I got involved with this so I'd have some fishing buddies. And here, 10 years later, I'm talking about watersheds and aquifers and stuff I never dreamed I'd be talking about. And I, I think it's just find something you love. And if it's the environment, find some piece of it that you love and try to fix that. And I mean, look where it led us. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs>